Jamie Foxx, he's in the news, but not for the stuff he went through the last couple months and we're not talking about the movie or anything like that. He got into it because uh Cameroon. He, he made a uh a, a posted or something on Instagram. And um the response was very strange, but this is what happens when people are not part of your culture and don't understand your idioms and all the stuff you use, the sayings you use. So Jamie Foxx apologizes for anti-Semitic Instagram post. That was quick. Quick. But it's not as quick as who responded to him while she apologized, while she was doing what she was doing. So Jamie Foxx, he put right, he put this on Instagram right here. Seemed like something innocent, no big deal. He said, they killed this dude named Jesus. What do you think they'll do to you? Fake friends, fake love. Any black person that said that, we know what they're saying. Somebody backstabbed them, some cousin, some friend. Backstabbed us. Yeah, somebody did the, um, Lord, I forget the disciple that betrayed Judas. Somebody, you know, went against them. We, it's no, no big deal. But you got to remember, when pe people will respond to you based off of what the response they get. So Jennifer Aniston, she went and apparently she liked the post, right? So what I'm thinking happened is she liked the post and somebody, somebody contacted from, her. Somebody contacted her and said, why did you like that you need post? need to immediately yeah. remove that. Now, she, dis she unliked it, I guess. And then she said, this is, really makes me sick. I, don't, I did not like this post on purpose or by accident. And more importantly, I want to be clear to my friends and anyone hurt by this showing up in my feeds. I do not support any form of anti-Semitism. And I truly do not tolerate hate of uh, any kind, period. Now, it's funny she used the word period. <laughs> she didn't put the T on it, though. It's funny she used the word period. Period. Now, <laughs> clearly, somebody contacted her and said, why did you like that anti-Semitic post? Then she blew it up and called him anti-Semitic when well, nothing about what he said was anti-Semitic. He was not talking about no Jewish people. True. He but, was. Go ahead. Well, you well because they they say that the Jewish people killed Jesus, yeah, Jesus. So yeah. that was automatically, you know, they immediately assume, an attack on them. And it also it could be because of the Kyrie Irving and all those type of storylines, Kanye West. So now when Jimmy Fox says this and he's black, there's this automatic automatic assumption black he's were he is Jimmy Fox a, a black Hebrew Israelite now. Yeah, all his, um, ain't all his ain't the kids ain't all his kids mothers white. white? I believe now, I so, but that Jewish. don't matter. In that that don't matter with them. Some I don't know. <laughs> know they're Jewish or not, but uh, George said he never turned on the camera. LOL, just a voice. Okay, it says uh, <laughs> actor Jamie Foxx who was recovering shots. from an under. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I said he's taking shots. Oh, <laughs> actor <laughs> Jamie Foxx who was recovering from an undisclosed medical issue apologized Saturday for an Instagram post on Friday that appeared to be anti-Semitic, suggesting he was betrayed and never intended to spread anti-Semitic rhetoric. Now, let's get into his apology and what he and said. They, and, they, and they put the face of him like defiant. Really? Like, really, bro? <laughs> this is now he deleted the post, which is already. I don't, I don't expect backbone from these people at this point. We don't see any with Nick Cannon. We Nick Cannon see, was the worst. We don't see. I don't expect them to stand on nothing. It's like, whatever. He said, I want to apologize to the Jewish community and everyone who was offended by my post. I know my choice of words have caused offense, and I'm sorry. That was never my intent. To clarify, I was betrayed by a fake friend, and that's what I meant by they, not anything more. Damn. I only have love in my heart for everyone. I love and support the Jewish community. My deepest apologies to anyone who was offended. Nothing but love always, Jamie Foxx. I wonder what would have happened if he would have accidentally tweeted that out when he was on his deathbed. They How fast would've... he would have got... <laughs> yeah, he would have did a live. He would have showed like, the tubes and everything. I want to make sure I apologize <laughs> to the Jewish he community. He would have showed his fans the tubes and everything then. The crazy part is that's one opinion because black people was like looking at this and they're like, I know damn well Jennifer Anson didn't pull this trick. You raggedy bitch. But <laughs> you you said Jen, you you prefer Jennifer Anderson over Angelina Jolene. How you bring that up? That's your girl. Jennifer Anderson is your girl. Whoa, when I say that, I said neither one can act, but I said we're not getting into that. No, Daddy, you don't want to get into that type of stuff. You were just rooting for her. I didn't we know. were rooting for you. That's I was not rooting doing. for her. You were I was rooting for her. Point when the, when the Shout option, out to Brilliant. What up, Brilliant? When the option was between Jennifer Aniston and Angela Jolie, I'm choosing Jennifer Aniston. As Jamie, Jamie Foxx strokes out Jamie Foxx. Clone Jamie Foxx magically appears for debut 
of TCT. Now Jimmy Fox apologizes to the ghouls. The, go- the golems. <laughs> the gold. Go ahead. Uh, that was quick. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened real quick. You right, Regina. The hood. Thin yeah. out the hood. A lot of stuff happened with him really quick. Um, she said, yep, Nick was the worst. Yeah, Nick broke my heart, man. And so it began. He wanted to be taken serious, and then when he had his chance to be taken serious, he folded. Hey, it was a black community or his show. <laughs> he trying to leave behind generational wealth for all his kids. I won't say he picked his show over his over the black community. I'll say he picked his show over integrity. I won't say he picked it over the black community. I won't uh, say that. George said, nah. Jamie uh, typed that because he admitted he got pack, packed out. <laughs> It's a lot of stuff going on with that. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, I want to show this right here. Because somebody like, when you talk about co- co- uh, colloquialism that people use of other races, how pe- black people always get confused for some reason. So the same way Jamie Foxx... Because it's so cold. Yeah, well, the same way <laughs> Jamie Foxx said, they killed Jesus. We I've heard that saying my whole life from black people. I'm they sure killed other Jesus? What do they think they do to you? Yeah, I've heard. I'm pretty sure other races say it too, but I've heard that said it my whole life. So this is an old story, apparently. And a dude said, man arrested after after he said he was going to blow up the bathroom at a restaurant. And man, said, I'm about to go. I'm about to blow this bathroom up. <laughs> so he said that. <laughs> and somebody called the cops and said he was uh, threatening to blow it, blow it up. But we, we know. He was blowing the toilet up. <laughs> we know what he meant by that. So he said. Setting off rounds in there. He said, man says his threat to blow up a bathroom had nothing to do with a bomb. Oh, it was a bomb splashing shit all around the toilet. Yeah, it was wasn't the bomb they think it was. Uh, George said Jamie Foxx show also had an episode about Jamie being a clone. How many uh shows had it though? Do, do you know any other black sitcoms or TV shows that had a clone episode? We know that Friendly Matters did constantly, constantly. I can't. I don't think first. No, first Prince. My, didn't. <laughs> Prince said. Go ahead. My cousin said it was a bomb threat and be more. <laughs> had the robots and all. <laughs> wow. That shit wait, wait, ain't funny. Wait, is he saying that it is a bomb threat right now? Or are you talking about the older story we were talking about? I no, I think he's saying something. Is it, you talking about a current story that's happening right now, Bradley? Let us know. But yeah, uh, that's, that's this crazy situation where that was taken completely out of context. I wonder, is, is she going to come out and apologize to him? Who? Jennifer Anderson for saying that. So Hell implying no. that he was being. He said it was way. yesterday. Huh? He said it was yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that. Bomb threat in, uh, he said Detroit? Baltimore. I'm oh, sorry. Baltimore. 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 Robots told him to drop the dude. <laughs> <laughs>